कभी तो चिल्ला दो एक बार आप चिल्लाओगे नहीं तो मतलब लोग काम नहीं करेंगे सर एक बार आवाज लगा ये ना अनुराग बिग डिफरेंस इज दैट वी आई वर्क फॉर फाइनाइट आवर्स हां अनुराग वर्क्स लॉन्गर आवर्स लाइक ही कॉल योर ओन फादर पापा बट आई हैव मेट पीपल्स ए पापा मतलब कौन है तेरा पापा भाई हाउ कैन अनुराग कैन बी योर पापा नो टबू वाज अर्ली ऑन विजय पाथ दो स्ट्रीम्स यू नो बोल बेबी बोल हाउ इज ही डिफरेंट फ्रॉम from hansel oh, being on a set like they're very different i mean the, the they're both very uh, you know uh, welcoming hmm. and they're very they're all about the team they're all about you know everyone's a bunch of friends working hmm. everyone's having a good time it's That's not important. it doesn't really feel like you're not a toxic boss basically no, no, no and neither is he not he's not a toxic no, boss no, either no no not yelling at people like kya ho raha hai never on Hate the contrary we used to actually tell him ki yaar kabhi to chilla do ek bar aap chillaoge nahi to matlab log kaam nahi karenge सर एक बार आवाज लगा दो ऐसे हम उनको जाके बोलना पड़ता था आई शुड टेल हिम आल्सो इट इज वन शॉट नो सो आई आई शॉट ऑफ एंड ऑन बट इट्स एवरीबॉडी नोस यू नो पीपल स्माइल व्हेन आई एम शॉटिंग राइट या दैट्स व्हाट अ गुड थिंग चल रहा है इज लाइक क्या हो रहा है एंड दे लाइक सर रुक सर हो रहा है ना सर एक्टिंग कर रहे हैं डायरेक्टर का नो नो ओनली डिफरेंस आई थिंक बिटवीन मी एंड अनुराग बिग डिफरेंस इज दैट वी आई वर्क फॉर फाइनाइट आवर्स हां अनुराग वर्क्स लॉन्गर आवर्स लाइक ही लाइक्स देयर वर नो आवर्स I mean, we were we were shooting till it was done. Right. So it was also fun because it never really felt like now. You know, people will of course say that oh, it's crazy. You can't work more than twelve hours. But back then we wanted. Yeah, it doesn't to. seem like work. No, we yeah. didn't want. We wanted to. We yeah. wanted to be there. Yeah. We wanted you want to get to, it right. Yeah. We wanted to ensure that you know he had everything. He had all the ammo, you know, to shoot. You know, and we wanted to do everything for him. Hmm. All of us. It, whether but it was slow, Anurag, Asan, you know, that's what Anurag inspires in people. Yeah. I've learned from him. Hmm. And he inspires and that people want to give their everything to him. Yeah, and we hmm. did. We did. We were always there. Papa will come. Both people do. Huh? In verse over, they call him Papa only. Really? You don't call your own father Papa, but I've met people say Papa. I'm like, who is your Papa, boy? How can Anurag Kashyap be your Papa? No. <laughs> I mean he has a cult know. following right he has a thing does, going he has a following yeah he's yeah, like a bhagwan ki tarah matlab bahut i mean he's been a like a mentor to a lot of indies in that sense no right? a lot of big filmmakers now like a lot of people who are doing a lot of work neeraj right. gewan right. vasan bala shlok sharma me hmm. vikram Vicky kaushal hmm. vikram motwani hmm. but vikram motwani to they had a different relationship hmm. i think he was they were working together right not uh, okay. that's more like an equal relationship yeah, yeah. in the sense it, he more, wasn't an, i don't think he was an assistant acha right. right. I, I don't think so. Yeah. Lots of us. I mean, Karuna Dutt or whether it is. Fair enough. I mean, what Anurag became, say, a decade later, is what Ram Gopal Verma was in the late nineties. What do you think? Ram Gopal Verma uh, will never happen again. Hmm. You know, Anurag will also tell you that. Well, I came in at the time when yes, Ram Gopal Verma. Yes, right at the time. Yes. It was that time. It was he empowered us like no one else did. Hmm. Without actually. He was doing his own thing, but yeah, by yeah not patronizing. He would not give you, you know, you would gather around him, but he would be irreverent. That irreverence hmm. and the audacity, sheer audacity with which he did his work, hmm. and uh, the sheer originality of uh, how he saw stories. Hmm. He was original. Hmm. He, was, he was an absolute original. You know, he would watch lots of films, hmm. but you wouldn't see that in his. Right. Right. He would just unless he it. talks about it himself. Yeah, unless he yeah. talks, about it, it's it's so, and he's not afraid. Hmm. Like that fearlessness, no, that sheer fearlessness in the nineties. Hmm. It was a very difficult time. It was a time when financiers made films, not studios. Hmm. There were no studios. Hmm. So Bharat Bhai Shah made Satya. Right. Yeah. Right. True you know, that. Yeah. You know, Jammu Sugand made Mangira. Uh, yeah. And, and, and Dord. Company. And Dord. Dord. Yeah. But but I get your point. Yeah. The larger point is the this. The larger point was that, yeah. and then with a like Bharat Bhai Shah was the big big daddy. Yeah. And you make a film with Manoj Bajpayee, with a star from South, J D Chakravarti. Hmm. The only star was Urmila Matondkar. Hmm. And you have all these new writers, Anurag Kashyap, Saurabh Shukla. Uh, Saurabh is also acting in the film in a major role. Vishal's music. Vishal's music. Vishal yeah. had broken. Vishal had broken out with uh, Matches. Matches. Right. So Vishal became like you know one of this like he was. Vishal was hot at that time. Hmm. Chappa chappa charkha chale. Hmm. And choda hai humko galiya. Was like a rage at uh, that point in time. Hmm. But with that, for Ramu to just say. Do you think okay. Satya was a was a turning point in that sense, Hansal? Yeah, totally. And I'm asking you this question particularly because you knew these guys. Satya was right? also Manish Malhotra. Uh, only only Urmila. Only Rangila. Rangila, Rangila was, was Manish Malhotra. Malhotra. So even in, even Satya. 
Satya, he may have done Urmila costume. Urmila sarees. But still, yeah. I think Manoj got his own clothes. He picked it up from the store. Everyone else picked up their own clothes. So, Satya, I used to visit the sets of Satya. I was doing Jayate at that time. So, it was it was happening almost parallelly. So, Jayate began and then Satya began. So, Anurag introduced me to RGV. I had seen Dodd at that time. And you know, actually I loved Dodd. I enjoyed Dodd. I thought it was like the maddest film I had seen. Right. You know. Yeah. And Anurag went and told Ramu that Hansal, it didn't work for Hansal. I just, why did you tell him that? Yes. Ramu, yeah, isn't, okay. <laughs> then he showed me uh, rough edits of Satya and there was a young editor there, Apurva Sran. Ha, who worked with you? You worked with me for so many years. Yeah. So, Apu was in the edit room. He showed hmm. me, Apu showed me some scenes hmm. uh, over there. Uh, and I saw those scenes and I said, wow, this is like, you know, it's almost, you felt at that time, he was editing at Rakesh Roshan's uh, studio, uh, Videocraft. Okay. It was called. So, Filmcraft. In Andheri. In Andheri. Huh. Filmcraft and video, video, it was in Santa Cruz actually. Okay. Uh, that was Rakesh Roshan's editing studio, video, video editing. Okay, that he used to give out. He used to give out. Okay. So, Ramu used to work from there. Hmm. So, I went there to meet him. Anurag took me to meet him. Hmm. And uh, Ramu showed us uh, scenes from the film. Very open, not afraid to show his hmm. work. It's in rough cut stage. Hmm. And I felt that the, you felt there, the energy, you know, hmm. that there's something, there's change. Hmm. And Manoj, I mean, I saw Manoj. Manoj was our friend. Hmm. We'd, we'd been friends for so many years. Hmm. And to see him there, like, I mean, that kind of energy, that mad energy, that, you know, very virile hmm. thing. And of course, we never knew what, how. It will be received commercially. How, what, will, what would happen to this yeah. film? Nobody was expecting what eventually happened. Hmm. But it was, uh, you felt that something was, there was change something around the corner. Yeah. Yeah, the parallel cinema movement had, you know, sort of faded out. Hmm. Like Govindji was making films, right. Sham Babu was making films. There was the same people were making films. Hmm. And this new maverick right. was. All of who were your friends, even before Satya, right? I yeah. mean, all these guys. And the big maverick, yeah. I mean, you know. Machis was one game changer because the music was fresh. Hmm. They cast newcomers. Hmm. You know, Tabu was early on Vijay Pat those correct, films, yeah, you know, yeah, Bol yeah. Baby Bol. Yeah. So she was cast in that kind of a part and with the, uh, Chandrachur Singh, hmm. you know, Jimmy Shergill hmm. in that film, you know. And uh, I used to visit the sets of Machis. You felt like these very heady times hmm. from 95 until 2000. Right. Very heady times. You know, new people came in, new talent. Hmm. We had Chandrachur Singh, Arshad Varsi, yeah. you know, then later Manoj Bajpai, hmm. uh, you know, there were, there were new stars uh, on the horizon. Parallelly, there was Mukul Dev, hmm. uh, Samrat Mukherjee, hmm. they were signing films like left, right and center. Those mainstream films. Mainstream films, you know, Mukul Dev was like the hottest star around. Hmm. He was signing all the big films. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> and Shah Rukh Khan, of course, Rahul was becoming the big star. Yeah. No, yeah. Raul Roy was earlier, earlier. A- Ashiki. Ashiki. What was that film of him where he becomes a lion or tiger? Junoon. Junoon. Jun- <laughs> yeah, that was a Mahesh Bhatt production. Yeah, I remember yeah. that movie. <laughs> that, that was quite wacky that was, though. That was in the early 90s, no? <laughs> yeah. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.